In the previous video, we have implemented a way for an agent to travel from one side to the other of our uh, city by placing a house and a special structure on opposite ends and spawning an agent. And the issue that we have here now is our agent is traveling through the center of the road. And we would like to make him travel using the sidewalks and also using the crosswalks uh, when we have such on our path so how do we, how are we going to achieve it let me show you so what we now have is slices of our street something like this so those are the parts and we have points at the center of each of those uh, streets or road prefabs and our agent traveling through the uh, finding the path it finds the path through the middle of our road and it ends here and should disappear. Now, this isn't what we want. We are going to add a couple of points for our agent so it can validate what the path should be instead of choosing the path using this uh, basic grid that we have, using this basic path that we receive. So instead of using those points of our road, we are going to add markers on each prefab. So let's say this is one prefab and this is the dead end road prefab. So we can have a building here at the end, here at the side and here at the side. So wise thing to do would be to place a marker here, here and here. And let's say that we want to spawn a pedestrian. We then want to find the closest marker to this structure. So it's closest road. Now, this poses an issue that if we start from this marker and we would go to the next point, so let's see here, we would still go through this uh, straight line. So instead of this, we are going to pre-connect those points by saying that those three points belongs to the same road and this point has neighbors here and here and those are open for connections and we are going to create such markers on each position on each road so if our agent starts from here it will now go to this piece of road which is a, a three-way street now here we are going to place markers near the crosswalks and we are going to also connect them pre-connect them in the prefabs so that they create a path something like this so we are going to pre-create those small graphs. Then when we spawn our player, we are going to create this main path that we have found. So this is the path from here, let's say, to this position. Now we know that we are crossing all those prefabs. So in those prefabs, we are going to find all the markers. Let's find the first marker here. We are going to ask it, what are your neighbors? It will create connections here. Then when we reach those two, we are going to ask, are you open for connections? Yes, I am. Okay, so find me the next point on our path that we have found and find the closest point on the next road cell to your position. So it will find this position here. So it will connect. For this, we will do the same. Again, this will find this as the closest position since we are going to measure simply the distance between those great now here we will know that those connects here and there will be a bit of an issue how do we find positions on this straight road piece since on the straight roads we only need to have one position at each side but we are going to find those positions as well by connecting find me closest position to this position and again at the end we are going to connect those since th those are also open for connections and let me add that those all four will be open for connections as well. We are going to connect those to the closest positions on the next cell. And at the end, we are going to achieve this kind of graph. So here is the graph in orange, in light orange. It will create so that our agents, instead of using this purple graph that goes through the center of the street, will use this small graph using the preset positions on our prefabs. And this is the solution that Thin Matrix shows in his devlog about his city builder. 
thanks to that I was able to find this solution for my issue of pedestrian crossing the road. So in the next video we will start implementing some classes and those markers so we have the, pre uh, the setup for our road prefabs before we can actually create this graph for which we will also implement a separate class. For now that's it, see you in the next video where we are going to start presetting our road prefabs.